All right, this is going to be a fun episode because it's the first time that I ever speak in English to you, my Vietnamese vlog, and heck, I'm not that ready to do this. By now you probably know that I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, I was born in Vietnam just like most of you guys and I only seriously learned English when I was in 10th grade or so. And that's why it's natural that I have an accent. An accent means that you, the way that you talk in English and the way that you pronounce a lot of words are not as um, natural and as correct as most of the native speakers do and to me it's always funny that uh, when I meet a lot of Vietnamese people on the street or uh, back when I was in college some of them expect to talk to me in English and uh, it was always awkward that we are Vietnamese and we talk in a different language uh, but a lot of you DM to me and ask how can you communicate and talk confidently in English without holding anything back, with total confidence, without fearing that people are going to judge you? The answer is you talk passionately without holding anything back. Think about this. A lot of people say that they are afraid of speaking English or communicating in English to other people because they are afraid that people are going to judge. Well, first off, Everyone is going to judge you. They judge you in the, the first like three nanoseconds. They look at you, they look at your clothes, they look at your hairstyle, they look at your face, and they already have a judgment of who you are as a person. But they use that reason just like an excuse not to even learn English in the first place, not even to try in the first place. So they never get better. So my friends, just talk. There's no how-to videos that are going to teach you how to talk passionately, how to talk confidently. Well, they will teach you like the tips and the techniques, but no tips and no techniques are going to work unless you are doing the work. The secret is simple. You just have to try. You have to talk. You have to talk a lot. You have to put yourself in the situations where you have to talk a lot. Let me give you a few examples. Uh, back when I was in high school, when I knew that I need to learn English in order to like fulfill all the tests, all the exams, uh, so that I can study abroad, I knew that that is a critical skill that I must have in order to achieve my dream of studying abroad. So I attended a TOEFL class. And the way that the teacher taught in this class is so special. Every class, he made us to listen to a tape. Yeah, he is so, he was so like old fashioned way, cool that way, that he made us listen to tape of conversations that people, native speakers, speak in conversations and we would listen to it word by word by word and we would write down every single word into uh, until we get the full conversation. And then when it is the class time, we would like go around, he would make us listen again so that he can correct the, the right answers and then he would make us, each of us, speak a sentence one at a time. Now, that's cool, especially when we have only like 10 or 15 people uh, in the class. So every session, maybe I can talk like five times or six times, but that is not enough, right? So what I did is I was like, I, I literally took all the courage that I have, right? So all the courage that I have, I approached him. I asked him if he could spend a few minutes every session of the class to review a tape that already I pre-record the mess on the conversations that I listen, all of it, all of it, I pre-record it into the tape. And can he just listen to it, give me a few feedbacks, review it, and see like the way that I talk, the way that I pronounce, the ways that I speak, uh, can I do better next time, those things, right? And he was so kind, he was, so kind, he, he agreed. And that's one of the ways that I put myself into a situation where I have to perform, where I have to do the work. The first thing is I attain a class. The second thing is I raise it up. I raise it up by asking the teacher that, hey, can you 
help me to do extra mile, to go for the extra mile. That instead of other students is just like doing the classwork, which is awesome, but I would love to put in extra work. Can you help me to do this? And guess what? Most people are not asking the question. Most people are not ask for help. And almost all teachers would expect more from the students, would expect that the students are better, would expect that a student comes to him and ask him for help. So do it. Put yourself in the situations where you have to talk. And once I did that, the instructor expected me that every class I would submit a tape in which I would pre-record all the conversations that I speak. And that's the way. Another story, all the years that I was in college, I always took a class, a math class with this specific instructor because I like him so much. But the first, I still remember the first period, like the first session, the first class that I ever, ever had in my college, ever. He, he talked so fast, everyone talked so fast, fast with a lot of terminologies in math, a lot, and I had no clues, right, what all that meant. So I was so confused and overwhelmed. So at the end of the period, I stayed and I wanted to ask him, how can I do better? How can I improve? Should I, took the, should I take the lower class because I would not be able to catch up with this one? And he was so kind, he said that, go and read this book and uh, uh, he, I be, you'll be fine and you, you'll catch up. The way that he taught at this class was so cool. He made each of the math problem just like an opportunity for his students to present in front of the class. I knew that I would be shy. I knew that I was, I was scared. I knew that I was afraid of being judged. I knew that like I spoke terribly and I had an accent. And I knew that I was afraid that I would never go in front of the class and present because people would judge me, right? I'm an Asian. But I also knew that. In order to become successful in my life, I needed the skill to talk confidently. I need the skill to communicate effectively and passionately and masterfully with other people. If I ever going to lead people in order to achieve anything in life, I need the skills to talk, to lead, to communicate. And so that's what I did. I forced myself in the situations where I have to talk. So every single class, every single session of that class, I raise my hand, I present it in front of the class, five days a week, 16 weeks per semester, and every single year I took his classes every day. I present in front of the class. Most people only present five times per semester. Even though they were native English speakers, even though they were Americans. But guess how many times did I present? 60 times at least per semester. That is irony because even the native English speaker, they were also afraid that people are going to judge. Public speaking, if you don't know it, public speaking is the number one thing that people are afraid of. The second one is people are afraid of death. And the third one is people are afraid of dying when they are public speaking. And and us, most of us, English is our secondary, secondary language and we're still afraid that's okay, that is normal. But if you are going to develop the skills that you can speak, that you can talk efficiently, that you can talk passionately without holding anything back, that you can lead, that you can develop the skills to succeed in your career, then you have to push yourself. Let me say it again. You have to push yourself into situations where you have to talk, where you have to do the work, where you have to present in front of the class, in front of your team, in front of your audience, whatever that is. I tell people that, hey, every week, every day, just hold up your phone, put up the camera and talk and put that on social media, on Instagram. And I really think that that's the only, the best secret that you have to do that if you really want to get good at this, you have to talk, you have to talk a lot. 
that single thing that I just tell you, the entire video, the entire of this video is all about that you have to put yourself in situations where you have to talk a lot in English, in Spanish, in French, in whatever the language that you are going to do, even in Vietnamese. You see the way that I do the videos in the channel? Well, I knew that if I am going to communicate well in Vietnamese, I have to talk in Vietnamese a lot. Even though I am a native Vietnamese speaker, but the way that I talk in Vietnamese is not as good as the way that I want. So if I ever going to develop the skills, I better get my ass up and do the work. That's why I put out a lot of videos. That's why I put in the work. And that is why you have to do it as well. There's no silver bullet. There's no secret. There's no three, you, three minute YouTube videos that after you watch it and you become a like motivational speaker or anything, if that, if there is one video that after you watch it and you become a great speaker, let that be this video that you took something that I say in this video and please do something with it. Don't just feel that you are passionate and you are motivated now. Do something with it. Go out, pick up your damn phone, record something and just do it every day, every day. And remember that it is going to hard. It is going to be awkward. You are going to feel that you suck. That's okay. That's part of the process. You will suck. Be okay with the fact that you are going to suck initially. And as you do it every day, every day, every day, you will suck less. And until a point when you suck to the point that you don't suck no more, you are going to be better. You are going to be good. And at that point, everyone will look at you and say that, wow, this guy is so talented. This guy is so good. But most people don't see the years that you put in the work. The way that I can talk like this, even though I knew that I suck now, I know that I still suck, but I still put in the work. I still say in front of the camera to you. And the only way that I can talk right now like this without no script is because I put in the work for the last six years. And so my friends, put in Go put, take your phone, record something, record something that you talk, whatever the topic is, how's the weather, how's the traffic today, what did you say to your friend, what did you hear so beautifully that said to you, What's, uh, what, what did you just accomplish today, what are you ready, uh, grateful for, whatever that is. And even if you post it online or not, just say it every day, every day, just like me. I have a cassette, like a Sony big ass cassette, and I just I listen and I, I write and then I have like a big microphone and the old old fashioned microphone. I put in that cassette and I record myself saying silly, but years after year that will build up and one day people will say to you that well you are so talented but it's because you put in the work. So my friends, take something in this video and please do something with it.